On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the Jack Requiem kit for the cast off 7.62 that completely eliminates recoil. Let's go test it out. Before we can test it out, we gotta unlock it first. And while we're doing that, I got something controversial I gotta get off my chest. Zombies players are being discriminated against. Now that's a bit dramatic, but let me explain. I think they've been making these weekly challenges to unlock these aftermarket parts significantly more difficult for zombies because recently, or at least in the past, they've been pretty easy to do and you've been able to get them done in just like one game of zombies hop in. You'll get a few challenges done for a few different weapons, like usually just two. And then once you exfil out of the game, you should have the new aftermarket part. But uh, they're really up in the ante. Because if we look through this week's challenges, it's like get 150 kills with a scope recommended assault rifle, which, you know, is not too bad. And then you look at the very last one and it's get 20 kills without getting hit with a sniper rifle 200 times, which I, I don't know if it's even possible to do that in one game unless that's the only thing you're focusing on the entire time. But I'm not going to be doing that, or at least not going to be trying to. If we get it done, we get it done. So the challenges I picked for this week are getting 500 kills with a silenced recommended weapon. So I grabbed a scoped AR here and then I threw a silencer on it just to, you know, cover all of our bases. We also need to get 75 hip fire kills with a recommended sniper or marksman rifle. And we need to get 200 kills with a recommended sniper as well so the marsh should be the best option for me here I i'm really glad this is the recommended weapon i got because honestly there wasn't a whole lot of recommended weapons and you might have noticed i only listed four challenges out of the five we need for the weekly challenges and the last one we need to do is getting 100 kills after reloading with a recommended battle rifle and this week i only have two battle rifles that are recommended i already forgot what they were but i took pictures of them this time i thought ahead but after we're done doing all the challenges for these two weapons that i brought in we have to either go hit the box or find some wall buys for the next weapon weapon we need if we want to get out of this game with our new aftermarket part and i don't think our hip fire kills are tracking with the morse that's just a whole nother layer of discriminatory or behavior happening towards zombies players but we got a lot of kills to get so i'm just gonna shut up and start grinding them out there's like 200 kills with our sniper rifle and our hip fire kills still are not tracking for it so on to our ar and apparently just having a scope on this makes a count towards this challenge we don't actually have to use the scope at all this needs to be there on our gun. But on top of the scope and the suppressor on this, I also have the incendiary rounds because with today's update, I'm not sure if the incendiary rounds work anymore. So I'm going to test that out towards the latter end of this game. There's our 150 kills with a scoped assault rifle. And there's our 500 kills with a silenced recommended weapon. So we still need to get our kills after reloading with a battle rifle. Oh, and the marksman rifle. I can't believe the hip fire kills are not tracking. So I need to find a Bass B or MTZ762. If not, we might actually get our 20 kills without being hit 200 times just sitting here hitting the box. All right, mystery box is no help. We're gonna have to go searching. I'm about to loot every inch of this map looking for one gun. Actually, technically two. MTC762, I think that's what I need. I'll be taking that. Let's see if that counted. It did. All right, cool. I just need to get this pack a punch. It'll be a little easier. This is a huge pain in the ass, but I'm determined. I'm just spamming my reload after like every three kills. We're gonna get this thing done in no time. And there it is. So now I need to somehow find another recommended sniper. And I think the only other recommended sniper I had besides my Morse was the FJX Imperium. So I have 11 minutes, not counting the time after the storm starts moving in to find one specific weapon. Awesome. And now there's an orb in my face. This game's trying its best to piss me off. I just need to go to every single wall by in the area because the mystery box just been feeding me the same four weapons. <gasps> This is a sniper. KV inhibitor. Is this recommended? Well, let's get a few hip fire kills. Don't look like it. Damn it. That would have been nice. KVD enforcer, maybe? Is this a battle rifle that's recommended? Yes, it is. Let's go. Oh, that was so lucky. I'm glad we found one early. And real quick, since we did find a recommended weapon and we can knock that challenge out in a second, I want to see if the incendiary rounds are still busted. Yeah, it looks like it. This shit is insta-kill. I don't think they touched incendiary rounds. At least not on normal zombies. Or on abominations, apparently. Awesome. Incendiary is still broken. Oh, we did it. That's our final challenge. There's our helicopters coming in. That's an easy unlock. Now let's get the hell out of here. Just barely squeeze that one out by the skin of our nuts. All right, now that we finally got our hands on the Jack Requiem, we're going to go ahead and test it out. And with this aftermarket part, you can change the ammunition type. But for this first game, I will not be using the incendiary rounds because we already know they're broken. And I don't think it gives us a fair evaluation of how this aftermarket part is going to do. But right now, let's see how the vertical recoil is because it says it completely eliminates it. 
And it looks like it. It's not moving at all. Okay. This is going to be great with Maggle holding, I feel like. No recoil with like a bottomless pit of ammo is going to be crazy. And against some tier two zombies, unupgraded, unpack a punched. Looks like it can handle them. The fire rate is decreased with this aftermarket part, but I feel like the no recoil helps out a lot. Because you can throw on whatever attachments you want, make it all movement speed based. And I think the recoil would stay the same. But it can handle tier two zombies, it's looking like. And how are we doing against a fully armored tier three zombie? Looks like first mag cannot get through his helmet. What about a second one? Yup. And after the second mag, it's all right damage. But definitely need to upgrade and pack a punch this thing before bringing it in tier three. So let's go ahead and do that. Get a legendary, get a pack three. How are we doing now? Ooh. I'm initially reacting to the recoil here, but the damage don't look too crazy at the moment. Maybe we just need some dead shot or something. Like we still handled these zombies, but we're going to need to do some more testing. And since we have a tier two bounty right here, let's go see how this does against the tier two HVT. All right, disciple. How are you handling this? We break that mask. We can pretty quickly. Oh yeah, his health's going down pretty decently fast. Absolutely demolished him. And we'll take that self revive and take our asses into tier three. And would you look at that? There's actually a contract we can do. And it's slowing zombies down a bit, but it's not having like the oomph, like that, that firepower I'm looking for. Incendiary rounds definitely going to help this thing out and it's going to be insane. I don't think those incendiary rounds are going to last forever. So as for right now, it's, it's decent. The jury's still out on it. But normally we have 80 rounds in the mag. Let's go ahead and use our mag of holding and see how this does with a continuous fire rate. Absolutely no recoil still after firing over 80 bullets more than our mag count so it looks like it is advertised this thing's got to be a menace in like all their multiplayer game modes i can't imagine getting lasered by this across the map in warzone now let's take this first spin against an abomination what's going on buddy shoot that laser broke a face in a reasonable amount of time didn't do a whole lot of damage though honestly i can't tell if like breaking a face fast is something you really want to do in against abomination because having their crit point open for longer is usually uh better you can get way more damage on them but if it's not doing enough damage to break the face, then it might not be that good of a weapon. It's kind of like a catch-22. He's shooting another laser. Can we break another face? And get some sustained fire on him. I don't think it broke, did it? Oh, it did. It just didn't stun him. And this mimic is just eating damage. We really need to get dead shot. Bad. We got to finish what we started first. This guy needs to go down. Yeah, the damage on it isn't terrible. Deadshot will definitely help it out, though. We we're actually dangerously close to running out of ammo there. We only had 86 bullets at the end. I'm pretty sure the maximum amount of ammo this thing has is 680, which isn't terrible, but it isn't like a crazy amount for a rifle. Yeah, 680. So we got another weapon cache contract. And last time, the zombies pushing up these boxes here pushed me all the way back into this room because I couldn't keep up with it. Now that we got Deadshot, does that help out a bit? Looks like the zombies are going down a lot faster, especially the armored ones crazy what a difference deadshot can make we are definitely holding our ground a lot better this time the zombies are barely even making it up here if at all but from what i'm seeing hip firing this is not the greatest idea with that with that minimal recoil you definitely want to be aiming down to make sure all your bullets are going to the same spot and i was just about to go fight the storm caller but i think somebody's in there fighting him right now you leave him alone damn we literally just missed the storm caller all right well let's go see if we can find a tier three bounty storm caller is washed anyways he's old news oh and there we go we got one please be an abomination let's go all right come here buddy we didn't have dead shot the first time we fought one of you can we do any better this time around looks like the face is breaking in around the same amount of time We're getting a little extra damage on him need you to calm down stop chasing there you go Shoot another laser, coward. Ooh, broke a face without it. Don't even need it. We just need you to have that mouth open. Oh, shit. There you go. Zombie, get out of here. Let's see if we can finish him right here. Got him under half health. Keeping it going. Open it back up. Come on. There you go. He's getting drained. So far, it's not too bad. I was a little skeptical at first uh, on the damage output, but I think that was just a lack of dead shot. I still don't think it's the most insane AR out there, but the no recoil is definitely a huge positive. Next game, I'm building this thing to be as fast as possible since we don't have to worry about any sort of recoil. And we don't got to worry about this abomination anymore. Night night, pal. Answers are right here. We might as well just go into the dark aether. 
Let's see if I can get another Maga holding. All right, let's be quick and fly through this Dark Aether. I really want to see this with Incendiary rounds. I feel like it's going to be absolutely busted. What's up, buddy? You already know the drill. Shoot the laser. Let me break your face. Yada, yada, yada. You're going to go down. That's the short and sweet of it. And against these Dark Aether zombies, uh, I couldn't really tell how well it was doing. I don't think there's that crazy of a difference between Tier 3 and Dark Aether zombies. I'm not going to lie. There's another laser. That should break a face. Ooh. I don't know if we got it or not. All right, now we can actually give this a test against these zombies. A good group of them, too. Seems to be doing pretty all right. It can handle itself. What do you think, zombies? Yeah, that's what I thought. And this abomination should be going down any second now. There you go. Making it easier for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Maggle holding for me, please? Nope. Awesome. We can really give it a test against the zombies against this outlast. It's absolutely frying them with headshots. This feels like Modern Warfare 2019's growl. Like, if it just had that iron sight, I wouldn't be able to tell these guns, like, apart. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just had to start gassing it up when we go down immediately. And still nothing very good from this. Stop giving me blood burner keys. I don't want them. I will not use them. Last one. I didn't even bring in cashmere's for this one because we don't need them. I did bring in monkey bombs, which is uh, kind of the same thing, but it's whatever. Just toss one of these bad boys, take out whatever elites nearby, and then get to work. Last one. Please finish it before I get killed. Thank you. Easy contract. Let's throw another one so we can check our loot. Oh, there's the maga holding we've been looking for. All right, incendiary rounds. Here I come. Wait a minute. Did they just disable incendiary rounds? Hold on. Let's take the conversion kit off. Ammunition. I've been swindled. I've been hoodwinked. I could have swore I was just here. Well, I guess scratch that idea. Must have overlooked the fact that I can't read. Now, hold on just a second. Not only can this be using the cast off 762, but the 545. Looks like we got another gun to test. I guess we'll see if the 545 is any better. I'm just gonna go right in with the upgrades too. Looks like it works the same. Still no recoil. This already has more ammo than our 762. Looks like this already has more ammo than our 762. We're at 835 bullets. We'll see what the max amount is after we finish up this little triangle challenge. But I don't know if damage-wise it's any better. At least I haven't been able to tell yet. It's handling this horde pretty well. Taking them all out. Still would definitely recommend aiming down sight with this. I don't think the hip fire is as accurate. But it's not bad so far. It can handle tier three. Oh yeah, the max ammo on this is 840. That's a nice upgrade from 680. It looks like this can also hold off the horde for the most part. And pushing me back in that room besides the zombies that get like Usain Bolt speed and launch themselves up here. And I finally got my hands on a tier three bounty. Please be an abomination. It's a mangler. All right. We got an abomination right here we can fight. I'll go to the mangler in a second. Looks like it breaks the face in around the same amount of time as our 762. And he disappeared. Literally right in front of my eyes. This game's cursed. All right, mangler, it's your turn. Come here. How are we doing against you? Can we break that armor? Let's get that helmet broken. There we go. Can't see how much damage we're doing because his health bar is not showing up. There it is. Ooh, it's not the craziest amount. If we get a sustained shot on him, he's doing the mangler walk, the mangler shuffle. We got him stunned. How much damage does that do? Ooh, he's almost dead. Time to take him out. Night, night, pal. Oh, shit. I got tunnel visioned. A few more shots should do it, though. See you later, buddy. Maybe this bounty will be an abomination. Yep. All right, abomination. One last time for all the marbles. I'll take you out once and for all. Holy shit. He almost jumped all the way onto the bridge. Oh, and we got another helpful Harry. But there's two abominations. Maybe you focus on one. I'll get the other. Nope. I think they both want me. They both want a piece of this. And I chased him away from a spot and he healed asshole. Actually, you chased me, buddy. Why are you acting so surprised? He is down to one face, though. And hopefully we can tank this laser. Looks like it. Didn't kill him, though. But it did a fat chunk of damage. Would have killed him if he didn't run back to his little safe haven. You healing bastard. And he's dead. It didn't even look like he was down like that low. Like his health was low for sure. But it shouldn't have been low enough to kill him right there. He just had enough. He didn't want any more smoke. All right, well, let's hop back into the same Aether we did with our 762 and see how this does. Are we going to get the same bounty? Yep. We got one more Abomination to take down. Let's get this over with Abomination. There you go. Shoot that laser. That's a face down immediately. Let's get to work on those other faces. There you go. 
Ooh, I think one of the fall offs or the, the cons to this aftermarket part is the damage range is lowered or the bullet velocity. I feel like they both relate. So we still want to try to fight this thing a little bit close up. But these zombies are not making it easy on us. Ooh, I think we just broke another face. Could barely see him, but it looked like he flinched. Oh, and he wants the last one gone too. Let's just power through this. Ooh, he just stopped shooting it. He knew that was going to be it for him. He's going down right here as long as he opens his mouth. See you later, buddy. And no maggle holding for that. Can this handle the outlast? Looks like it so far. I honestly don't really see a difference damage-wise between the two guns. So if you like more ammo, I'd probably say go with the, the 545. So they feel extremely similar. Come on. Finish the contract. And you got something good for me in here? Nope. Lame. And this Aether Extractor is about to be a piece of cake. That's one. That is two. And that's three. Still nothing good. They're really trying to push this VR-11 on me. And we're out of here. So after using both Kazdovs with the aftermarket part, uh, I would just say use the 545. I really couldn't tell a difference between the damage like I mentioned before. Having more ammo with the no recoil and mago holding is actually kind of crazy. You can just tear through any horde of zombies, take on any mega abomination, and it did pretty well through the Dark Aether. So this is actually a pretty fun aftermarket part. The lower fire rate is not a bad trade-off to having zero recoil at all. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.